Ooh, g'day guys, welcome to my AFL Evolution 2 career mode. Now I do have to just say to start off, I recorded the first pre-season game against Essendon and won and it didn't record properly, it crashed. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to start episode 1 at the second game of the season. And we got Fremantle at Optus Stadium, I presume. I think the real game was in Joondalup, but they don't have that ground on the game. Um, so let's have a look at the lineup, guys. I'm going to start off with um, a fairly young West Coast Eagles side to take on the Dockers. Let's have a look at the bench here. And this is a cool feature in the game. You just press triangle and it goes to your bench and your reserves, uh, which is nice once you get used to it. And you can see all the youngsters that I've got outside the team here. And being pre-season, I want to give these guys an opportunity. So uh, Brendan Archie played really well in the first game. I'm going to keep him in the team. Oscar Allen, I'm going to put in my team as the second ruck. Uh, we're, we're actually, I'll rest him up forward for Willy Rioli. Uh, Ainsworth, I will probably... Yeah, I'll keep Ainsworth in the team. Duggan, not at half forward, though. This team is a little bit scrambled. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you've got Nick Natanui at, at half back, now at half forward. I'm going to play Natanui. Uh, let's play him in the ruck and then drop Vardy. Already got Oscar Allen in. Oscar Allen will second ruck. Archie can start on the flank. And then I will drop Vardy for another youngster. Let's say Nelson. Ooh, Josh Rotham can come in for Will Schofield. Uh, but I'll play Barras. Barras at centre half. At full back. Hearns in the team. Uh, anyone else? I would say Brander can play. He's been playing on the wing. You know what I might do? I chuck in Brander over Redden and put Brander. I think on the left wing in this game, if you play a loose man, which I'm going to, um, it takes the left wing if you're the home team, which is a weird knack like a little thing about the game. But yeah, anyway, Brander as the tall guy is probably better playing that loose defender. Uh, maybe Xavier O'Neill onto the field instead of maybe Elliot Yo. All right, so I'm playing a very young team here. I could lose this game, but that's all right. It's all about giving opportunities to the young guys in this preseason game. I think I've put it on uh, Rising Star for now and 3.5 and then um, as it gets a bit harder or sorry as it gets a bit easier I will actually up the difficulty so three and a half minute quarters for pre-season and then um, when the actual season kicks off I'll play five minute quarters all right and here we are and um, as I said in the first game that didn't record I really like the presentation in this game if you look at Optus Stadium that is very very nice even in AFL Evo 1 I thought that presentation was probably the best part of the game you really feel like you're playing at the stadium um, yeah, you can see see it in the background there. It looks really, really mint. And it's quite a young side there. And I've played... It looks like they've misspelled Xavier O'Neill. They've spelt it Xavier O'Neill. Fremantle playing a more experienced side. Lloyd Meek, although, starts in the ruck, um, which is interesting. And there they are wearing their purple jumper and white shorts, which, you know, they don't wear ever. But, you know, that's all right. Here are the boys coming out, a few fresh faces. All looks pretty good. Shuey comes out to meet Fife, and we are just about ready to start. Fremantle look weird in that jumper. Can't nick. Boom. All right. Questionable tap from me there, tapping it into space where there was no player. But I'll do it again, why not? Oh. Ainsworth. The youngster, I think he's a left footer, and typically hits the post. Um, no surprise there for Mainsworth. <laughs> Shuey goes long, and Darling's there, but is he... Oh, he's outnumbered, and that is a good rebound there from Mundy, by the looks. Oh, Ainsworth steps up with a big smother. Sean Darcy brought down. Good intensity, boys, as Collier goes off the field. And Andrew Brayshaw, wow, that looks really like it. One of the glitches of this game is that uh, it changes your second ruck on you a little bit. Oh. Kick the goal, Archie. The star of the first game has nailed it. I think he get two goals and was best on ground in the first preseason game. So he's continuing his good form and pressing for his case for round one. As Allen is still in the ruck, that's a little bit of a worry. Brayshaw wins the clearance. Walters 
thwarted. Tim Kelly can't impact the contest. And Shannon Hearn makes space. Not often you find him blazing away. Oh, I'm not sure about that handball. Boom. On the ball. Very generous free kick, but I'll take it. As he spots up a couple of people in the pocket there and can't hit the target. Hamling takes the defensive mark. Still haven't fully decided uh, what camera setting. That may change throughout my career. At the moment, I'm running. I like to have, you know, a, oh, as Darling has a shit shot, to be honest. I like to have the uh, camera behind me so I can, like, set up play. Um, oh, he has butchered that. Luke Ryan with an uncharacteristic mistake. Well, I like this. This really does look like Optus, doesn't it? And, okay, quite a strong breeze. I might just go for a drop punt. Is that going to be too crazy of me? I just feel like this breeze might work in my favour here. Too much, too much breeze. Ah, <laughs> I realised it. All right, so Fremantle getting some clean ball at the moment. Oh, yes, and Gaffey has shanked it. That's my bad. I overcooked the kick. Yes, good spoil. I'm not sure who that was. Shuey, my boy, runs onto it. Oh, he finds some space. Can he launch from 50? That's a pretty good kick. It's not going to make the distance. And that is a great mark from Waterman, the youngster. Keen to have a breakout season for the Eagles, being sort of on the cusp of this side, with Darling and Kennedy obviously being locks and Oscar Allen being one of our best young players. Waterman has bobbed up for a good mark and goal. JK. Oh, yes, Shuey. Kick your first, Shuey, on the left and has nailed it. Yes, Gaff, come on. Nail it. Oh, what? That is poor match awareness by me. I ran into an open goal on the siren. Oh, my God. Oh, well. But no dice. Oh, Walters takes an uncontested mark on Shepard. Good spoil there. Oh, I got the clean crumbs, but uh, gave it up too quickly. Conquer with a pretty good snap there, though. Fremantle on the score. On the scoreboard, rather. Off the mark. Oh, a little bit handball happy there, but Duggan, can he launch the ball inside 50? That is a good kick as Cripps runs into it. Oh, he's taken the mark against all odds against the taller player. Now, I'm trying to remember that the breeze isn't as strong as it might look. Hopefully, this makes the trip. It's going to go close. It'll get touched. Who takes the mark? It is a goal that is gone over the line. The score review happens, and Jamie Cripps with his first possession nails the goal from 50. Couldn't find JK, and surely Nick Nat intercepts, yes. Now surely there's a lead. Yeah. Poor decision by me, I'm trying to, trying to nail those short kicks into the 50, but they're quite hard to pull off, as you can expect. Oh, Nat Nui, <laughs> with the smother, I'll take it. Oh, burns them off, fine space on the wing, if you don't mind. Oh, that is hot. That was sick play from Nat Nui. Probably play of the day. Finds an uncontested Josh Kennedy. This should be no trouble for him. And that should go straight through the middle. And we get out to a commanding five goal lead. There we go. Going into half time. I am pretty happy with that. You cannot complain about a five goal lead. I am going to probably up the difficulty though, guys. All right, so this will be a good test. I've upped it to senior difficulty to see if I can maintain this lead. Nat Nui with the... Oh, felt like... Oh, a high tackle from Maidensworth. Felt like Ryan had that one there. Ken McCarthy. Got a lot of hair. What, what's going here? Is that... Oh, they've played at 50 metres. I had no control over that. That is brutal. That's going to be their only chance to score a goal so far. Oh, he's missed. Wow. That's one thing I've noticed, actually. The AI is really, really bad at uh, being accurate. Go on, chase him. Oh, that is a great goal if he's got it. And it is a goal from Adam Chera. Wow. Just watch this from Adam Chera here. Boom. Takes a bounce. The snap under pressure. And he has nailed it. I have to replay that. That was bloody good. 
O'Neill with his first clearance. Pumps it into the forward 50. Can we lock it in with a great tackle? Yes, well done, Ryan. And we can force a stoppage forward of centre. Oh, Liam, uh, Lewis, <laughs> Lewis Jetta rather, has plucked it. And there is a player running free. I'm going to have to go into the pocket here. Yes, all right. So Archie reckons he's within range. That is interesting. I might give this a bit of a roost. Probably going to fall short. Oh, it's a pretty good effort. It won't quite make it. It's a good mark. Here we go. Yes. All right, Jetta having a good couple of minutes here. Should be able to nail this fairly simple goal. And he has straight through the big sticks. And this game is probably beyond doubt now, you'd have to say. It's been done for holding the ball. Can I force a... Oh. Good diving mark from David Mundy, I have to say. It's been a bit of a general of their defence for this game for some reason. Don't know why he's playing back. Oh, Nick Nash with the screamer of oh, screamer attempt. Is that unrealistic attempt? Is that what happened? Fair enough. I wasn't even controlling Nick Nash, so I can't even claim that one. Duggan's got to be good here. Oh, well done, Nick Nat. Oh, that was not good. I did not mean to do that at all. And they've paid it throwing the ball. Are you joking? I don't know how that handball went 30 metres back over his head, but it would be like that. And he has kicked a behind Lloyd Meek. So, again, I've been let off here. I think if Fremantle were kicking straight this game, I definitely would be in a little bit of trouble as I find an uncontested mark through Tom Barras. Strong mark there from Cam McCarthy. Oh, yes, and intercepted by McGovern as he does so well. I really like the, the loose man in defence feature. It's really making me think about my ball use a little bit more because you just get intercepted every time you go long. But sometimes it's also necessary to go over the top of the zone. And that is the win as the Eagles record a perfect pre-season. I think I found my difficulty that second half. Uh, difficulty was probably more realistic. I'll play s longer quarters in the rest of the season. Is that, is that Ethan Hughes? That looks a lot like him. The likeness is really good. They look filthy for a preseason game, don't they? Unlucky. Let's have a look. Nick Nat Nui, major ball winners. Seven touches. No one kicked more than one goal throughout the game. Adam Chera probably had goal of the game, that's for sure. Player of the match is Nick Nat Nui. I'll take it. With Luke Shuey earning a vote, I thought Shuey was pretty prominent as well, which is good. Archie bobbed up as well uh, and put in a good performance. And uh, he's probably in contention for a spot in round one. I think I'm going to give him a game. The only concerning thing is I only kicked one goal in the second half and technically lost the half by two points. But uh, we'll, we'll see when the, um, when the difficulty... Well, I'll keep that second half difficulty for the season when we start. We should have some pretty fun games. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode for round one when the Eagles take on the Melbourne Demons. Cheers.